You know what's going to win this competition? Work. I want to make my great room greater. It's week three, and we are all working on the great room and the backyard living area. I'm feeling super confident after my kitchen win. I just need to keep up the momentum, because if I can win the great room and the outdoor area, I could probably win the whole thing. So I really want these rafters for the great room. Budget-wise, we can't do anything fancy. So we're getting this easy pine and doing an awesome whitewash coat on it, just to give it some texture. This is going to be important for the light. I hope it doesn't get lost in here. I don't know if these judges are going to get it. Hey, Ari. What are they doing over there? Coming out, I see just these loud trucks. This creates a lot of curiosity. I'm tired of losing, so I'm going all in this week with my boldest, riskiest move yet, installing a $30,000 pool. For this pool, every single day and literally every single hour counts. I mean, we're trying to jam what would be like a couple month project into the week. OK, so next steps are coping, tile, plaster. Jasmine does a cannonball. So cool. Hello. What's happening, gang? I heard from a little birdie that your kitchens were fantastic. Yeah. Yep. At the end of the week, we have two of HGTV's newest stars, Brian and Mika Kleinschmidt. They're going to be judging your great rooms and your outdoor living spaces. Oh, wow. All right. The Kleinschmidt's build homes from the ground up in 100 days, and they know what it takes to sell a house. So I think they are going to be tough judges. And to help you do this, I'm sending you to one of the largest open air markets in the country. OK. All right. It's the world renowned Rose Bowl Flea Market. Cool. When you arrive, a close friend of mine is going to be waiting for you with a little something I think you're going to love. Keep up the good work. All right, thanks, Drew. Bye. Bye, Drew. Bye. Hey, guys. Hi, Tiffany. Hey. How are you? We pull up, and Tiffany is waiting there. And she's my girl. She's my Chicago girl. She actually won season eight of Design Star on HGTV. And she's a really talented designer. Now, Drew tells me that you guys are working on your great rooms and outdoor living spaces. So I've got something here to help you out. VIP passes and $1,000 spending cash for each of you. Whoa. All right. Girl. Wow. Find something incredible to permanently affix to your house. <laughs> That's money. Oh, yeah, there is just one more thing. You only have one hour to make your purchases and get them back into your trucks. Now come get this money and your passes. Go, go. <laughs> your time starts now! Go, have fun, you guys! An hour, Jazz, an hour. There's hammocks for sale. Yeah. Don't act like you like them. How much are they? I don't really like, like them. Stuff. What about two for 50? I'll give you two for 60. Okay. Phew. Okay. All right, we'll take two of them. I like that. That's fun. These are fun. My idea is let's find some lights. That's the goal. Whoa. It's a bird cage. It could be a light. Yeah. Or a bird cage. How much for this whole shebang? Three of these lights. 800? That's good. That's in our budget. That's three lights, Steve. <gasps> those are cool. What are those? Those are gorgeous. I know that they're surface mount, but I'm thinking, like, what if they're actually sconces? How much are these? Six thousand. Why you gonna eat? Can you give them 60? Yes. I didn't even have to go Hi. Hey. I love this. Yeah, it's pretty cool hanging lovesy, right? Yeah, it comes with the cushion and how much is it? There's a price tag. It's 848. I think I have 825. Oh, uh, 825. Okay, yeah, sure. All right. All right. I just feel like we got a deal. We just found the perfect thing. It's gonna be amazing. You got it, Boo. I got it. I think we gotta collect our stuff and get back. Like 300. Lockers. I love lockers. Whenever I see lockers, I buy them. I've used them in all different types of design. Um, how much are your lockers? 350. Oh. I'll give you whatever is right here. It's OK. It's good. It's yeah? You yeah. like it? It's money. It's OK. We got a ton <laughs> of work to do. And now we've just added to that work. But if we can integrate all these things into our design, we're going to add a lot of value. Yeah. And for $1,000, we've really just made our house that much cooler. The hammocks and the kind of hammock chairs are probably going to go outside because we have a fire. Rose Bowl. I'm continuing the herringbone from the kitchen into the great room, and I also have the herringbone pattern inside of my outdoor fireplace, so it makes it feel like one cohesive space. This fireplace is huge. You could fit like 10 babies in that fireplace. Just don't put babies in the fireplace. We're going to do this really awesome bonus pergola where the really cool rattan chair swing that I got at the flea market could go. 
What are we doing, Leanne? I'm thinking creatively. I'm trying to figure out other ways to make this money last. I'm going to stencil all six of these cement blocks and create, hopefully, what feels like a tile rug situation. OK, this is very risky. Do it. No turn it back now. Nope. I really want to impress the clients from it, so I just need to rush, rush, rush and get this done. Things are a little crooked. They need to be adjusted, all these little things. And I'm super OCD and a control freak, so all these little things really drive me crazy. No one else sit on the couch! With all the trim detail and the big wide doors and the fireplaces, it feels homey, but also kind of fancy. My design aesthetic is functional, and that becomes a lifestyle. A house that you walk into and you're like, oh, thank goodness I'm home. And if I've accomplished that, then yeah, this house will be within my design aesthetic. These things are huge. We're coming to an end here. And it really is just all about these final details, whether it's art or just placing my landscape outside or these little things that make such a big difference. You know, that's a big selling point when people can move in and go, I don't need to do anything to this space. Winning is super important to me. And so far, I've won nothing. So I'm really hoping the Klein Schmitz like my design better than the other girls. Anybody home? Welcome! So the judges for this week are the Klein Schmitz. It's two people's opinions right now, and I don't know what they're going to think. We added the fireplace, did a little like faux judges paneling. Ah, judges paneling. Too. All the built-ins. I love the built-ins. And I am in love with the details on the flooring. The herringbone pattern is very unique. The one thing I'm, I feel that's a little bit missing is a centerpiece light. Yep, I was going to say the same choice. thing. So when you walk in right now the front door, okay. you go straight out and kind of take everything in. Whereas if I'd had a big chandelier there, it would have been a showstopper for sure, but it would have mm -hmm. stopped you. Gosh, I just love how it all opens out to that backyard. Well, do you guys want to go check out outside? I can't wait to see it. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. love that you have the option of the ambiance of a fire indoors or outdoors. So I am intrigued by this. So it's what a, is this? It's a dough bowl. I found it at the Rose Bowl flea market and just thought it was super cool. Doing the doors, doing the fireplaces, and making this backyard space mm -hmm. completely cohesive. Oh my gosh. It's like you've increased your square footage, you know, 1,500, 2,000 square feet. Love the pergola. Nice Thank work you. there. This That's is just cool. a lot of fun out here. Yeah. You can throw some great parties. Yes. I love how everything has come together, and it's cozy, and it's comfy, and it's exactly what I wanted it to be. Knock, knock. Hi, you too. How are you? Hey, how are you doing? Welcome. Yeah. First thing I noticed, which is super unique, but no baseboards, no trim, is that all, you just ripped all that out? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. That I is know, you're so a builder, cool. huh? Goes against everything. Ooh. It might have to grow on me. Interesting light, too. This is kind of cool. This is an old salvage find that we found at the Rose Bowl. Oh, cool. Okay. So we kind of made this. We turned it into the light. Super simple touches. I just want it to be light and airy and lovely and open. And speaking of open, we did our mega bifold door here. So you can walk right out into this space. And this is an extension of the great room. That's exactly right. Yeah, so we did this stencil pattern right onto the concrete. Nice. It'll wear down through time, which will be more beautiful and feel oh, better. Oh, you thought. That is actually, okay. that's really cool. This outdoor space, it's a little bit Mexico, a little bit Greece, but a little bit France. We did this awesome pea gravel, really kept it neutral and simple. Low maintenance. And then if you look from here, the view of this great room is yeah. very lovely. I like it. Yeah. Who I see living here is a young family that is just a little cooler than their neighbors, specifically three of them. Hello there. Hi. Wow. What? This must have been a pretty hefty penny on the budget, right? No. So all really? this was labor. The material is plywood. We have some trim what? in here. I mean, the value, probably well over to 10, 15,000, maybe even more. These doors, that's where I kind of, I really spent a ton of my money. Yeah. That used to be a window. Now it's all about this indoor outdoor space. The grid system on them in the black, to me, has that storefront feel. It does. Or like almost very lofty, kind of Chicago a little bit. Oh my gosh. And then I wanted this to be indoor outdoor all day long. Oh, How man. about the rope light? Oh so my gosh. these were Rose Bowl purchased also. They were 40 bucks and they were pre-wired. So I was like, how do I make art out of them but also 
turn that art into a functional light fixture. I'm hearing like water. Honestly, this is one of my favorite pieces. I got this from the Rose Bowl, but I knew I was putting it in this pier mirror. So this is an old Chicago piece. And then I did this faux living wall. So it's low maintenance. It brings so much beautiful green and lush kind it's of- It's got so much character. Feel to it. Really, all it is for me is all about green. Mm -hmm. So what I chose to do was the synthetic just turf. just that, yeah. And all these custom planters. I mean, Love those look great. They provide privacy. Yep. I'm impressed. Thank nice you. work. If I won the kitchen, I got to believe that there's just a big win behind it. Ready or not, here we come. Oh, What's up? Hello, 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 guys. Hi. How are you? Hello. How are you? Oh, man, you're here to judge me, aren't you? Good to see you, but good to see this. Yeah. So, you know, when you first come in, I mean, it's such a great grand room. My eyes immediately go to that light. This is upwards of $1,000 just for this light. OK. Oh, okay. Are these lockers over here? These are lockers, oh. yeah. <laughs> I bought these at the um, vintage swap meet. We went to the Rose Bowl in Pasadena. All I did was put these inside of a nice oak casing here. Smart. And it just makes it feel like you can come in and kind of live. Well, you know, we're from Florida, and one of the biggest things in Florida is indoor-outdoor living. Oh, yeah. And I mean, wow. It's just like you have a wall of windows. This definitely adds value. Right? Please tell me they pocket all the way to the wall, they don't. Jasmine. I wish they did, but they oh, go to wow. here, and then we have this fixed panel that actually allows for our furniture to make sense. Okay, let's move out to okay. the oasis. Yeah, I know. This is like, yeah. wow. This is where I spent my money, you guys. I see. Ah, I was gonna say, a pool is not inexpensive, but very much has the resort feel. It's like nice and clean. I saved up for this part of the competition and I don't think anybody else is gonna do anything close. Awesome job. Okay, bye guys. We have a lot to think about, I but uh, nice work. Yeah. We'll yeah. see ya. After a lot of thought, we narrowed it down to two houses. Ladies, I have seen some great rooms in my time, but your great rooms are not just great, they're amazing. After a lot of thought, we narrowed it down to two houses. Mina's and Jasmine's. Do we fight to the death? Yes. The two of you really added the most features that are really big selling points for buyers. But the winner is the one that did just a little bit more. The winner is... Jasmine. Got the kitchen, girl. Thank you. OK, guys, you are officially in the home stretch. And what's left is obviously the finishing touches, the curb appeal, and the remaining spaces that you have left in the house. And just a reminder, you only have one more week to get the rest done because Drew's coming to appraise your houses.